Hey, this tutorial is about pawn and how you can easily create and add movement and camera rotation to it. Okay, let's start. First of all, I'm going to create the third person template uh, to have the enhanced input already to save a little bit of time. And here I'm going to add the pawn blueprint. Name PP. So we added here a bit, and I need to select in the game mode this pawn. Maybe better to just select and pass it in the default pawn class. Now let's check. We cannot move, it's our new pawn. So inside, I need to add some basic setup from the enhanced inputs. This one, I'm going to just copy it. It uh, will save a time. I don't have enhanced inputs, and I need to have these two inputs. So let's start from the camera input and we need to add the camera input but to add it we need to add the add controller VR input and add controller pitch input. We just simply connect it. Uh, X will be here and X needs to be here. Let's check how it works. So now it's possible to, to move the camera and to add the movement we need to add the component for movement for pound. Loading pound movement, so we need to drag it and drop and call the add input vector. And we need to play a little bit with the mass right now. So we need to get controller rotation. So we need get forward vector. And get the right vector and multiply the this one from right it goes to x and I need to Duplicate and the forward should be with the Eric. And uh, it's because we want to have both uh, methods to go forward and right left. Uh, so we need to add a plus for it. So simply we are adding here. Uh, we both of the methods to move as uh, forward and background and right and left. Uh, and if it's like will be a zero, then it will be here all zero because multiplying by zero will be zero. Or if we have here zero, then it's not a problem because we will have zero. And we can work uh, with both of them. And let's check how it works. Now I'm playing and I can move and it's like a flying camera without the collision and let's add a collision in it. So let's add the sphere collision and just drag it to make it a root, root component and here 
select block all processes by default overlap so our flying camera cannot go through the walls and collisions now we have like a camera and you can play also in the floating power movement component with some values uh, with the speed acceleration deceleration i mean you can make it maybe slower and at less acceleration so we will move more smoothly okay not from the like full speed at the beginning more smooth at the beginning and it's i think much better for the project also you can improve your camera rotation to make it more smooth because if you are rotating fast and it it's instantly just stop the camera it seems not great for a user so I'm going to show you a solution how at much better smooth with the camera rotation. So let's disconnect here and let's add a timeline. A timeline we need to change it to play from start, not only once play. So let's open it. Let's set the duration of our smooth transition to more slowly values. So let's make it 0 0.3, make the vector uh, float track and name it like delta will be fine. Uh, we need to add two keys. So here will be 0 0.3 end and end value 0, it's important. Here 0 time, but value 1 to go from bigger value to smaller smoothly. From for, for this time. Um, now we can add a magic with the mass. So I'm going to just unpin for now this one and let's make a multiplier. So we need to multiply this value plus delta value. And I like to add the variables to handle it not every time change timeline. So Add a variable also, make uh, the name of it like multiplayer. We can set, for example, to one because if it's zero, then we will have a bug because it will not work anymore. So and connect this one. Let's now add for pitch. For it is the same. So value take delta and add it to the values and let's check how it works right now so you see i am moving all is fine but when i end move moving my mouse it goes smoothly to the new point a little bit better just in the constant break stuff <laughs> so hopefully guys you like this tutorial if it is please press like and thank you guys for watching bye